Welcome back, people. Now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, let's, let's start doing something pretty cool. And let's start by processing uh, images. So the first thing that you want to do is from import the pill. And it's uh, a long <laughs> process explaining what pill is. So, but that, well, doesn't, doesn't have any, any um, <laughs> interest, I suppose. So it's called pill, OK? <laughs> and then image and image filter. It's uh, just uh, the one that we're going to use here. So I always like to uh, comment my code. It's important for you to do the same in order for you to have a clear thing exactly what you're doing. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, create a new variable and then from image what you want to do is open. And what I have here to open is my cat JPEG. So JPEG. I'm showing, I'm going to show you here, this is the cat that we're going to work with. So, you're going to open this cat JPEG. You just need to store, um, you, you could put the, the whole URL here, but if you are storing the same, the same the picture in the folder where you are running your Python code, you, you just can, you can use only the, the name and then the extension. So, cat JPEG, see so you, you have the cat JPEG inside my Python, pro, Python programs directory, so here we go. The next thing that you want to do is uh, show image. So showing the image is actually pretty pretty simple. You just, it's em the same thing. And then, sorry, image and then show, okay? So basically what you do here is open the image and then if you want to display it out directly to the, um, to, to the screen, it will show out the, the image. And if you want to do this, so let's, let's run this. So basically, you open the image, see? You have a new image open here. So let's just close, close this, close the window. Now, if you wanted to, to process the image to do something different, now we, we can apply filters to the image. And there are several filters in, in Python. We're going to just to cover just, just a couple of them, just for you to, to see. There's actually some pretty cool ones. So applying filters to uh, image, just comment out the code again. Let's use just, I don't know, blur. So use the same name and then add what you are doing in order for you to understand exactly what the name of that variable is doing. So filter, image.filter, and then the, the name is image filter dot Gaussian blur. And then in, inside here, you can use um, a number. And the number is basically the, the level of the Gaussian blur that's going to be applied to the, to the picture. So just choose like, I don't know, five. So yes, I feel if you put like 5,000, it's completely blurred out. And if it's like one or two, just, just one minor retouch. So five is, looks cool. So the next one that you can do is, let's say, I like this one. It's edge enhance more. So do the same thing, filter, and then open it, this out, and then it's image filter dot edge enhance more, okay? And then the other one is m contour. I like this one as well. So m contour is equal to in filter, same thing. See, this is actually pretty easy. So in filter, and then image filter, same thing, and then contour. So now what you want to do is show uh, what you did to, to the image, okay? And actually, let's do another one. You can actually do rotation. So rotation is the same thing, just to do some properties to the image. And it's just image.rotate. Let's say we're going to want to rotate the image 90 degrees. And instead of just um, uh, storing it to a variable, just want to show it out directly. And Python is not going to store in a variable, it's going to uh, buffer it out. So basically it's going to be cached and it has like this weird name called ZZZZ22248 blah blah blah. It's, it's just a temporary file for you to see the changes that you did. And actually I'm in the mood to, <laughs> to give you one, one more. So let's change the, the RGB channel. So changing RGB channels. This is this is one that I really like doing. It's basically an image is split out in uh, red, green, and blue um, um, channels. So 
So every time that you see a, a picture, basically a picture, the way that the computer sees it, it's just a bunch of dots. It's like um, lying several rows by columns of, of dots. And each dot um, each uh, has three channels, red, green, and blue. And you can alter um, the, the channels and it's going to give out some some pretty cool some pretty cool effects. So, what the, the code for this is R G N B, and you want to split the channels, okay? In order for you to do something with them, okay? So this is the code to do it. And what you want to do here next is M R G B. You want to do change, just the name for you to to use, and then image dot merge. Basically, what what you what you are doing again is kind of uh, re-merging the the same channels. But the the cool thing in order to to get a cool effect out of this is just to change the 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 RGB channel. So instead of red, green, and blue, let's just do I don't know blue, green, and red. So just just to change it out a little bit, and you you will see in a bit what what's uh, what's going on here. So and then show, okay, and then you could also crop the image. So cropping is actually pretty simple. It's just cropping and then just and then it's m crop equal m crop. Okay, and then basically what you want to do here is where is where is it that is going to start to crop the image? So it's it's a good it's a good idea to use. You can use um, Photoshop for this because you you know exactly where you are cropping. So let's say we just opened out Photoshop. So you would see like you were starting out exactly here, and then ended here, and you would know exactly where you were cropping. So I'm just I don't know just throwing some some numbers, just to th just to see uh, I don't know something in the image. And if by any chance you don't don't do the accurate measurements and you throw some number here that is outside of the bounds of the image, the Python compiler is going to, to complain. So the next step that, that you want to do here is just save the image to a new file. We can do that. So image to a new file. And just Basically, you you take the um, you, you take the variables that you just created. So in blur dot save. You want to save it to a new name. So image dot. Uh, let me see image no blur dot jpeg. And then you want to uh, use the extension as well. So joint. If in case you don't know, um, JPEG means Joint Pictures Expert Group. Just just out of curiosity, if you don't know it, so we're going to do out for the next the next one. So edge and at save, same thing here. So we just or enhance enhance more image enhance more dot JPEG. Same thing here. Joint pictures expert group. Then same thing here with the contour. Contour dot save. And then same thing here. So image contour dot jpeg. Then joint picture expert group. And then let's do the last one and crop dot save same thing so okay image image cropped pictures group okay and the next one what what you want to do after is well let's just stop the tutorial a little bit here and then uh, we'll continue in the next one. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.